everyone, it's Lauren from Old Orchard Farms. Today I'm going to do a video to show you guys how you draw blood from poultry. I am a state tester for the state of Virginia. We do this to test for MG, MS, and many other diseases that come in poultry. Um, I'm going to do one of a large fall and one of a bantam. Now you use a needle and a holder for your large fall. And then on my bantams, I use a butterfly needle to draw the blood. It's easier, smaller, as they're a smaller bird. To start, what I'll do is you take your test tube. They have to be a red top test tube with no additives at all. It has to be just clean blood. And on here you'll see you got your expiration date and all that and place where you could write what you need to. So what I'll do, I'm going to be using as my test subject tornado, the buff leghorn, Brewster. He's a little upset that he's in the show cage. So I will grab him out. Come on. And what I'll do so that way if anything does ever come back, we talked to the state vet and he said this would be the easiest way to tell. You take their leg band numbers because you're already enrolled in NPIP. Use these leg bands to your advantage. So his is VA. I'll write this down. Okay. So I've written down what his leg band is. Then I'll tip him to his side. Right here, like that. And I'll sanitize my hands just a little bit. Just to make sure that everything is clean. There's nothing that can get into the blood. You want it to be clean, you want the bird to be safe. Wear your gloves. You know, because you might have dirt or something on your hands. You do not want that getting mixed in. I should let my hands dry a little bit. My writing is a little messy on there, but it works. We will add into the description down below the video where to buy your products from. And sorry about the sunglasses, everyone, but today's bright, so you can't really see my face all that well. It'd probably be easier if you let your hands dry a little bit after doing the alcohol. I'm trying to do this as fast as possible. All right, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna open your bird's wings. And as you open, it's gonna be a feather mess in there. So you're gonna find a good vein right there's a decent vein. You may have to pluck some feathers away. It doesn't usually bug the bird. Um, they don't jump. Then you wanna get your prep pad. Make sure that you clean the area that you're going to be poking them from. Oh, stop. You ain't going nowhere. Right, and as you can and see, that, I got blood into the tube. Now just to get it. There. there we go. And you need about one cc of blood. So Which is about there. That's plenty. Right about there. Those and are then, four cc tubes. And then what you'll do is now that you've gotten your blood drawn from your bird. Pull this off. 
This is no longer any good. One time use only. And there's your blood, ready for testing. Man, he's done. And this is how you draw blood for many different samples that your state vet may need for NPIP. And as you see, we'll know from now on when we send this in, they'll record this number on my tube as this. I have my book for my NPIP that states what birds, what, with what tag, and if anything was to show up, I can go back and I can look and call that bird out. Thankfully, we still have not had anything show up. I hope this helps everybody in understanding how to draw blood. You can also use swabs down the throat. Um, that may be easier for some. I prefer doing the blood because you get a better result from it. More information. Thank you, everybody.